welcome to a Doom Builder Basics. It's considered like a mini tutorial based on what I know of the editor. I ended up having to self-teach myself. Uh, if you want other tutorials, there's Chubbs, Doomer, he does stuff like that. So I'm going to be coming over the quick assets or quick little tips and whatnot to help speed up your map mapping progress. Maybe even uh, have the ability to uh, show you something you guys didn't know yet in terms of shortcut keys and whatnot. So you can either double click, which is great for doing that, or doing caves or whatever, but control shift D, quick sector, no big deal. Do another control shift D. The brackets change your grid size. You probably all already know this. Fifty-six. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Well, I want a door like that. <clears throat> and then we'll just like, I don't know, we'll copy this. There we go. We have our set of rooms. Go uh, find some lights. Good enough. I will be going over lights, uh, textures, and whatnot. This is just your basic tutorial kind of thing. Dealio. Let's just say this door was a little larger, and, or this room was a little larger. So something like that. So, because I'm lazy, I'm going to just copy and paste. Oops. There we go. So, generally, the rule of thumb here for doors is when you have a, a specific door like this, that you know that you want this to be a door, just go sectors mode, shift D, and you can go to make a door option. We can set texture offsets, we can apply action specials, apply tag. We want to apply action specials. And we can just select our door, texture, whatever, it's easy. No big deal. What do you want the floor to be? Uh, let's just say I want it to be that. There you go, your door is made real easy. It even untags the things for you. But that's not what I want for the door. What I do is usually like to make the door slightly a bit smaller. So something like that seems more realistic to what I would do. There you go. It remembers your settings too, which is a great part. For here, we'll just put the door stop. Oops. You can use whatever you want down here, you can, but usually I'd like to do something like that. Like, I might just use this actually. Oh. Now you're probably thinking, well, how is that going to work? Right? Well, you can actually right click this, and this little dial right here lets you rotate the textures to how you see fit, which is amazing. So just scroll it over to the left, put the arrow keys. If you don't hold shift, uh, it's an increment of one. If you if you hold shift, it's an increment of eight map units. So there's that. We have a door. Perfectly good. 
And when it comes to lighting, please, for the love of God, don't don't just leave it like this. This is rather boring. Just make your level look a little interesting. Do the flood texture selection by holding shift. It selects all the textures. Or all the sectors. As long as they're the same texture. Because if I were if I were to grab this texture right here, or better yet, just do this. See? Texture texture selection flood only works if you if they're the same color texture. So I want to make the rest of this dark. I'll get to dynamic lights later. Right now, it's not necessary. <clears throat> there we go. So we have our map. So let's just go see how how quick these are gonna open. So speed, delay, 34 seconds. That seems about right. And it's repeatable action, so we don't even have to do anything about it. <clears throat> and you go press F9. Don't mind the uh, that's actually not part of the tutorial. This is a mild look. There you go, there's your basic door. Okay, now I'm going to go over texture <clears throat> texture stuff. So let's just say, hey, I want this to be the full texture, so you go hold control alt or control alt A. Now you get to fix its height or ignore it. See, this should be bigger, right? Yeah, let's see. We can make the whole room this one size. Face width. Do that. We can actually make it upside down by going negative one. We can do this one to negative one. <coughs> and it actually shows up in game, so let's just try and make sure I'm not talking on my ass here. Upside down. Or I can have have it so that the entire room is stretching the same texture. I can just go auto and it just fixes everything. across connected services makes it so that that this texture here the one with four panels has to have four panels on every line depth so just a simple thing uh, so that's what I like to do about the doors uh, I like to divide them up divide everything up you can also just Probably just go like that and style stylize your door a little bit better. Oops. And if you have this kind of problem, you can go Shift A or A just aligns it, but Shift A like 
vertic vertically aligns them. And in some situations, you might have to go upper or lower unpicked. But in this case, you don't have to. So you're okay. So next time we'll cover over lighting and hopefully that goes a lot better. My cat is distracting me. And maybe we'll go up to show off the 3D plugin with the same map. <clears throat>